Hi guys, welcome to another video. Got a simple one for you today. This is, this is an Asus laptop and the model number of the machine is it's a uh, X555L. Now, it was brought into us um, as the machine was running extremely slow and um, we told the customer that basically we need to replace the hard drive. So let me show you how I'm going to do that. So we're going to replace the hard drive with an SSD drive, which I've got here and you can check out uh, um, the link in my uh, for the drive uh, in the description below uh, it's via Amazon and it wasn't that expensive to be fair but you can check out the prices there's different types of ones that you could you could buy as well so yeah check out the link and we'll take it from there so the first thing I'm going to do really this is quite a basic video but I'm going to show you how you can do it at home so you don't lose anything now the best thing to do is get a piece of paper like so um, and just Draw a little box like this of the rear of the laptop, for example. So you follow exactly um, where these screws are. So it's basically a little template. So you can see there's one screw here, draw a circle, one screw in the middle, well, two in the middle, sorry, and one in the corner. There's one on the edge just there. And there's one at the top, one in the middle there. And um, there's one underneath this little uh, sticker there and there should be one underneath there we'll, we'll we'll take that out and you'll see I don't know why they put that there what's the point but it's there so we'll take that out I'm not sure there's any underneath these legs or these little legs they've got I don't think they'll be there but we'll check so yeah let's just do that so that way what happens is you're not going to lose your screws you're not going to lose your screws and you'll know that where the screw goes back because there's different lengths so once you've done once you've done that um, template, just pierce a hole, not too big because your screw will fall through. Just make a little hole, in the holes. Okay. Get your screwdriver. And just check, see that's a long one. That's a long one also. Are they the same size? I'm sure they are. Yeah. Now some of them could be shorter, but the reason for doing this is that if you pull a long screw where a short one should go, it will come through. It will come through the palm rest and then you'll see a slight dent at the top of the machine. Okay, now I think these are all the same. Ah, right, now you can see the difference in the video, uh, in the in the length. This one was a shorter one, which has come out from, from there. Okay, oh, no, I've got the wrong, wrong way around. We all make mistakes, we all make mistakes. Um, this one, I think goes in there, yeah, that, see the one to the corner, that was a shorter one, so there you go. That's why, you need a template mind you for you guys you've got this video so you don't have to worry about it you can see the lens start coming out see that's short but and the other thing as well if you haven't got a little tray to put your screws in um you know you've you've got somewhere just to keep them safe they're not going to fall out anywhere um and how long does it take how long does it take? It only takes a couple of minutes, doesn't it, really? And so you push them through. Trust me, everyone who repairs laptops, if they just chuck them around, you ain't going to remember where the screws go, and you're going to lose them. Now there's, I'm sure there's one underneath here. I'm going to pop this off. Just a little tab to stick it there, so you don't lose it. Okay. And that should be where the memory is, and again, that's a short screw. So, um, yeah, let's let's put a let's put a um, a little one here as well, a little hole. Okay, there you go. Now we're going to pop this door off. See what's in there? Memory, obviously. Now uh, we need to take apart the palm rest. 
I think this machine, as far as I remember, I've done one a while ago, I think the top half comes off rather than the bottom. So um, yeah, let's let's just give it a second. I'm just gonna grab a little tool. Okay, so what you need to do now, uh, there's there'll be a little gap just here between the bottom, which is the bottom cover, and the palm rest. So just get a little tool in there and just slowly bend it like this and you see it pop off there you go don't do it too much just enough to release it okay turn the machine round and you can do the same thing either side as well sometimes you can't it depends on the angle that you're working with you find the most comfortable way Yeah, right, so now there's no other screws anywhere that I can see. Okay, as you can see, that's put that's popped off the top. Yep, so you've got to be careful here. So you need to remove this couple of flexes. So there's one flex just here, which is the keyboard flex. Open the door, pop it out. Same thing with the mouse pad flex that one there's only two flexes you need to remove there you go okay that's all good while i'm here i've got this little pump here i'm gonna give it a quick clean there's not much dust in it to be fair right so the hard drive is just there it's located here so you've got to remove this flex uh one does say um the io board and the other one is for the hcd board which is that one there so open the door, pull the flex out. It's, it's probably stuck down here. So slowly, if it doesn't come away, come away, um, and it's too tough, get a hairdryer and it will come away, or get a bit of alcohol and just pour it down once one of the sides. And as you do it, it will just come away dead easy. Okay, simple. You can put that to one side. Now, how do we get this hard drive out? Now I can see that needs to be removed, this I.O. board, and also from here. So I think the I.O. board and these two screws, that will give us access to the hard drive. So let's get this screw out. You don't need to make a template here because we're going to be putting it back pretty quickly. Okay. Slowly, this will lift up. Well, what's going to happen? Let's have a look. Can we get this out first? No, I think it's probably wedged in somewhere. Okay, that's a bit strange, isn't it? So let me just get this little prizing tool I've got down here. Okay, lift that up and see, pop this off and leave it there. And then you lift the hard drive on this side slowly because the hard drive plugged in here. You can see the pins that are there for the SATA connection. So just Lift it up, gently pull it out, and there you have it. So let's just leave that like this, All right? And I'm gonna get my my new SSD. This one I've gone for is a 500 gig, which is ample for what uh, the client needs. Uh, where's the little tab? Okay, let's just take it out from the bottom here. I like to double make sure that what we're getting on the box is what's exactly inside. Sometimes you, you never know, manufacturers do make mistakes. So before we install, make sure it does say 500 gig. Yep, it does. So we're gonna put the hard drive. Um, let's just see which way the connections are. So, okay, so that's how it goes. Put that to one side, take this bracket off. Okay, now this bracket is one one piece, so very straightforward. Line it up with the holes like so. Okay. 
I like to do corner by corner. So just don't um, put it in all the way. Just um, screw. Okay. Okay. One corner, and then you do the opposite corner. There you go. And then once once I've done this part, I'll put it all back together, and um, then it will be time to install a new operating system, which you can find out how to do online. Okay, make sure it slots in nicely. There you go. And remember, this was below the bracket, not on top. So push that in there. Make sure it's slotting nicely, and uh, we'll put the screw in. Now the screw, if you forget where it goes, you might think, oh, well, where does it go? Uh, here, can you see there's two holes? So you might think it goes in there. But this one's got an arrow here. I don't know if you can see that arrow. Uh, if I can zoom in slightly, you can just about see that arrow, which is just there. Okay, that tells you that there is a screw that should go in to that hole. Okay, so that's exactly what we're going to do. everything that you want to do is okay it's clean if you want to clean it up a little bit you can just get a little brush wipe it down that's it that's fine um, now where's the, the palm rest now make sure you slot in the I don't know if you can see that but you can see them slotting it in here holding it up make sure it goes in all the way close the door so no one can get out and then you've got the, the palm rest, uh, sorry, the mouse one, that's a bit tricky. Okay, close the door and line it up. And just push it down everywhere, around the, around the edges. You hear the nice clicks. Like so. I'd like to let me switch the machine on. Yeah, but yeah, we can just switch that off. And basically, now, very simple. Ah, do you, you might have noticed something. It happens to the best of us. Now, what's happened is, I forgot to put that back in. So, here we go again. Let's just take this off. Just go to show that we are all human. Yeah, yeah apart from AI. Yeah, I forgot to do that. Slowly, just lift it up slightly, and there's enough space to get it in there. So I've got HDD on one side, so it's not the end of the world, it's only cost us uh, a minute or two, probably not even that to be fair. Okay, make sure they get it in, and then you can push the middle down where the tape, the sticky part is. Okay. Twist it on again. Right, um, make sure it's all nice and plugged in and connected. Okay, so simple now. It's the reverse of what we did earlier. So I'm putting this back in first so I don't lose that. Put the sc small screw in. Okay, so basically the rest of it is exactly the same. It's the reverse of what we did earlier. So I'll put those two screws in uh, and I'll end the video here. I hope it helped you out and I hope you um, are successful with your upgrade and all goes well. Uh, please like and subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you.